Named one of the best places to live by Money Magazine, Schertz is tucked into a quiet northeast corner of the San Antonio area. It's far enough away from the interstates to feel peaceful, but yet still super convenient to all the perks of big city living. Today I'm going to tell you all about what it is like to live in Schertz, a modest San Antonio suburb that's a top choice for home buyers and particularly for the active and veteran military population here. So stay tuned. Hey there, it's your realtor Denise Ross with Keller Williams City View here in San Antonio and I absolutely love helping people make San Antonio their home. So if you just have questions about what it's like to live here or you're ready to get the moving process started, either way, feel free to call, text, or email me. I'd love to hear from you. If this is your first time to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every week when we post a new video. Now on to what it's like to live in shirts. There are a number of suburbs in this northeast quadrant of San Antonio, and they are often lumped together, particularly Schertz and Cibolo, but also Universal City, Garden Ridge, Live Oak, and Converse. And they are all rather small, and sometimes, honestly, it's hard to tell where one stops and the next one starts. But today we're gonna focus on Schertz because I think there are some things that are particularly unique about this town that I'd like to share with you. On the edge of San Antonio, Schertz is about as conveniently located as it gets. Within minutes, you can be on Loop 1604, Interstate 10, or Interstate 35. Its location garners both the benefits of big city living and the beautiful hill country. It's about 25 miles to downtown San Antonio, about 15 miles to New Braunfels, and about 60 miles to Austin. It's a particularly popular location for both active and retired military personnel due to its classic suburban lifestyle and its proximity to both Fort Sam Houston and Randolph Air Force Base. The major thoroughfares are FM 3009, FM 78, and Shirts Parkway. Shirts is also located near one of the largest shopping centers in the entire area. The Forum, located at 1604 and I-35, has a wide variety of shopping and restaurants, including department stores, electronics and hardware, and boutiques, and all kinds of cuisine from fast food to sit-down restaurants. But there are also plenty of family-owned restaurants and shirts as well, such as Matanga's Pizzeria and Garcia's Mexican Restaurant. There's an H-E-B Plus at 3009 and 35. H-E-B is the local grocery store chain here to San Antonio, and if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that everyone loves H-E-B. H-E-B Plus has everything you'd find in a regular grocery store, plus you can pick up a cooler for the drinks you just bought, a smoker for the brisket you just bought, as well as a new outfit, some toys, and some housewares all in one place. There's plenty to keep you entertained in and around shirts. There's the Evo Entertainment, also nearby is Cibolo Entertainment Complex, which both not only have a number of movie screens, but also a bar and a cafe, bowling, arcade, and even laser tag. There's also nearby Morgan's Wonderland, which is the first all-inclusive theme park. Natural attractions nearby the Natural Bridge Caverns and Wildlife Ranch. There's also several local lakes and rivers available for you to do fishing and enjoy water sports or just cooling off on a hot day. The City of Shirts places a high priority on green spaces with over 20 municipally owned parks and recreation facilities. This means that you don't have to travel far to enjoy the landscapes and the outdoors. There's pools and a year-round aquatic center as well as an adult social league and tactical laser tag offered by the city's parks and recreation department. And for kids that enjoy nature and being outdoors, there's a nature discovery series at the Crescent Bend Nature Park that's free. There's a skate park, a dog park, ball fields, and a soccer complex, in addition to the public library and the senior center, which offers socialization, activities, classes, and more. And if you're into golf, Olympia Hills Golf Course is also located in Shirts. With a population of just under 41,000, this town embraces hill country values and a neighborhood-centric community mindset. Consider the city's core values. Treat others the way you want to be treated, do the right thing, be the best you can, and work cooperatively as a team. Who can argue with those sentiments? Maybe that's the reason Niche.com called it one of the best places to live in Texas. It seems that there is a consistent effort to honor these values and the community atmosphere as evidenced by the recurring events that happen in shirts. 
Just to name a couple of these events, as there are many, there's Jazz and Blues in the Park and the 4th of July Jubilee, which is an event to honor military service members and it's one of the largest of its kind in the entire nation. Another big draw to this area is the schools. Most of Schertz is zoned to one of the premier school districts in the entire San Antonio metro area, the Schertz Cibolo Universal City Independent School District, which might also be the longest school district name in the entire state. The district and all of the schools within it are very highly rated on texasschools.gov, and it has one of the top graduation rates in the entire state. The housing market in the San Antonio area has been appreciating, and this includes shirts, but it has still remained relatively affordable. Regardless of your style or budget, the housing options in this area are as diverse as its residents. With housing prices starting under $200,000 and a median listing price of $300,000, you're bound to find something that suits your lifestyle. The south end of Schertz is still more rural with some working cattle ranches still in that area, but it is starting to be more developed. There's a lot of new construction going on in various parts of Schertz, including neighborhoods such as the Cross Vine, Bind Seal Farms, Halley's Cove, and the Homestead. But if it's existing homes or even older, more historic homes, you might want to consider the Aviation Heights area, which was developed by the Schertz family back in the 1920s. However, that area is in a 100-year floodplain, so that would require you to have additional flood insurance, which is something to consider as well. Schertz is located in Bear, Comal, and Guadalupe County, so that's something you want to take note of when you're looking for a home. The taxes will be relatively similar across all three. They will vary somewhat depending upon what school district and county the property is located in. There are so many pros to living in Schertz, but I have to tell you about one of the cons, and that is traffic. It's kind of a running joke in Texas that the construction on Interstate 35, or any interstate for that matter, is perpetual. And since Schertz is located right in between 35 and 10, that is something to consider. But we are mostly talking about rush hour traffic, and traffic here in San Antonio is almost always moving and almost never at a complete standstill. Now this is different than some other cities you might be thinking of, like Los Angeles or Houston, where rush hour lasts practically all day or night and this may not be a con for you if you work from home or if your work will be relatively close by. Post in the comments below what are your thoughts about shirts? Is this somewhere you would consider living? If you have more questions about shirts or living anywhere in San Antonio, I would love to hear from you. And if you liked this video, you will want to watch this one next. Thanks so much for watching.